Good afternoon, Rich Nass with Embedded Computing Design in the RISC-V booth. I am with Michael from Ant Micro. Um, you guys are part of the ecosystem is probably the best way that I'd describe it. Can you describe what Ant Micro's contribution is here? Uh, sure. So Ant Micro has been uh, one of the very early uh, founding members of the RISC-V Foundation, and this reflects our firm commitment to open source technologies mm -hmm. and uh, architectures. Uh, and what we're showing here today is a open simulation platform called Renode that we're working with. Uh, of course, it supports RISC-V, hence mm -hmm. we're here. Uh, as a company dealing with uh, developing all sorts of embedded systems, this has been both a tool that we had been using internally, but also a very successful project that has been used around the world mm -hmm. uh, with various companies. Uh, some of which uh, work with us, some of which don't work with us. That's the mm -hmm. beauty of open source. You don't have to actually get involved, but you you, you should. Uh, we deeply encourage that. And since our tool is very easy to integrate and script and do whatever you want to mm -hmm. do, uh, but also commercially supported by a company like ours, uh, it's just very useful for uh, building real life embedded systems. Okay. You said open simulation. What, did, what, what does that mean? Essentially, we can take real firmwares uh, from any sort of platform. For example, mm -hmm. here we're showing the Micro Semi My5 platform. You can take mm -hmm. a firmware running, say, Zephyr RTOS, Light mm -hmm. OS, Free RTOS, or Bare Metal, uh, and just instead of running it on physical hardware, you run it in simulation. And what we can do is we can run multiple platforms in the same deterministic world uh, so that you can debug and work with big networks of devices uh, communicating over wireless or wired interfaces. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, the greatest thing that this gives you is the ability to repeatedly test and debug your systems. So uh, the blessing that the high-level developers have always had, the ability to do continuous integration and just mm -hmm. test whatever they're working with very fast, this has traditionally been absent from embedded systems. With Renode, you can actually do this. Uh, it's pretty easy to do so also, and you don't have to abandon your uh, tools. You can actually mm -hmm. integrate with them. So here we're also showing Micro Semi Soft Console ID that we integrated with. Uh, and of course, we can work with different kinds of tools like GDB or mm -hmm. Wireshark, uh, whatever you're using in your everyday development. You don't have to throw it away. You can actually just uh, uh, supercharge it with Renode, uh, integrate it, and instead of running physical hardware, you'll just grab some virtual nodes. You'll be able to mm -hmm. work with your colleagues uh, across teams, across continents, in a very easy manner. And this corresponds very, very well to what RISC-V is about, because it's an open and right. innovation-driven uh, foundation that uh, enables it to collaborate very easily between different subjects, so Renode ties into this very neatly. Very good, thank you very much.